Today we are going to discuss about the general features of scapula. Scapula is a flat bone, triangular bone, also known as a shoulder plate. It starts from the second rib and ends at the seventh rib. It lies posterolaterally into the thoracic cage. It has two surfaces. This one is the anterior surface or also known as a coastal surface because this one is forward toward the ribs and this one is known as a dorsal surface or the posterior surface. The anterior or the coastal surface is inconcave in nature while the posterior surface is inconvex in nature. Scapula has got three borders. It has got three borders. This border is known as a lateral border. This border is known as a lateral border while this border is known as a medial border. This border is known as a medial border and this border is known as a superior border. This one is a superior border. The most thickest border among all of them is lateral border. The reason is this because it is the most weight bearing or the force bearing part of the scapula and the most thinnest and shortest border of the scapula is the superior border. You can see this one is the shortest border among all of them. It is shorter than the medial border. It is also shorter than the lateral border. Scapula has got three angles. This angle is known as a lateral angle. This one is a lateral angle. The lateral angle is also known as a glenoid angle. And this angle is known as a superior angle. And this angle is known as an inferior angle. Thus, lateral borders start from the lateral angle and end at the inferior angle. The medial border start from the superior angle and end at the inferior angle. The, super the superior border start from the superior angle and end at the glenoid or the lateral angle. And this one is known as a spine or the crest of the scapula. This spine and the crest of the scapula is divided into the upper lip and the lower one is known as the lower lip or the inferior lip. The upper lip, the two third, this one is divided or differentiate into the supraspinatus fossa because it is above to the spinous process and below the spine also contain the lower lip of the spine this is known as a infraspinatus fossa the supraspinatus fossa is in small in size while the infraspinatus fossa is in large in size as the spine extends and it articulate and attach with the acromial process or the acromial bone and the acromial bone has two border this border is known as a medial border while this one is known as a lateral border and the chromial process also contain two surfaces. The upper one is known as a superior surface, while the lower one is known as an inferior surface. You can see there one is a facet. There one is a facet. This is known as a acromial facet. This facet is for articulation of the lateral part of clavicle bone. When, when the clavicle will attach with the acromial facet, then it forms a joint with the acromioclavicular joint. And the third one, this one is known as a crocoid process. The crocoid process is as the crow peak. This structure is like that.
and it also contained the two border this border is known as a medial border while this one is known as a lateral border and this is known as a superior surface while the the lower of this one is known as a inferior surface if we see the superior border have this notch like structure and this is known as a suprascapular notch this is known as a suprascapular notch and this structure because of the spine and with the glenoid cavity this is known as a spinoglenoid notch this is known as a spinoglenoid notch and if we come to the anterior view of the scapula or the costal view of the scapula the costal or the anterior view of the scapula has a depression like structure is known as a subscapular fossa this all is known as a subscapular fossa and this have ridge like structure a uh, three to four ridge like structure which is running from the medial to lateral because this border is known as a medial border and this one is a lateral border and they're running from the medial border to lateral border so these contain three to four ridge like structure into the subscapular fossa and this region is known as a glenoid cavity this is known as a glenoid cavity this one is oval in shape and this glenoid cavity articulate with the head of the humerus which is enlarged in size than the this glenoid cavity and it form a ball and socket joint or the synovial joint and above the this one is known as a supraglenoid tubercle this one is a supraglenoid tubercle and below the glenoid cavity this there is present of the tubercle which is known as a infraglenoid tubercle this is one as a infraglenoid tubercle and in if we sketch or the draw that part of the scapula this one is the anterior view or the coastal view and this one is known as a subscapular fossa subscapularis fossa this one is known as a subscapularis fossa subscapularis fossa this one and this one is known as a glenoid cavity this one is known as a glenoid cavity this one is a supraglenoid tubercle supraglenoid tubercle s for supra g for glenoid and t for tubercle this one infraglenoid tubercle and this one has how many border three border this border is known as a lateral border this one is a lateral border while this all border is known as a medial border this one is a medial border and this one is known as a superior border this one is a superior this one is a superior border and it contains the three angle this one is a superior angle superior angle while this one is a inferior angle inferior angle and this one is a glenoid angle this one is a glenoid angle this one is a glenoid glenoid angle and from the base of the this one is a crocoid process this one is a crocoid process if we draw a line if we draw a line this line is known as the anatomical neck of the scapula this one is the anatomical neck of the scapula if you draw a line from the base this one is the base of the crocoid process to downward to the glenoid cavity this one is known as the anatomical neck this one is a anatomical neck and if we draw 
a line from the suprascapular nose from the suprascapular nose to downward this one all is known as a surgical neck surgical neck of scapula why this is known as a surgical neck the reason is this because this is the most fractured part of the scapula this one is known as a spine or the spinous process this one is a spinous process spinous process and this one is a known as a upper lip this one is a upper lip this one is a lower lip this one is a supraspinatus fossa this all is a supraspinatus fossa this all is known as a infraspinatus fossa this all is known as a infra spinatus fossa and this one is the inferior angle this one is a inferior angle this one is the lateral border all this one is a lateral border this all is the medial border this one is the infraglenoid tubercle this one is a glenoid cavity and from that side this one is a acromial process it contains three processes and this one is known as a acromial facet acromial facet and this one is known as a crocoid process it involved in the ligamentous muscles involvement and this was all about the general features of the